I'm Nick White of I Want a Standing Desk, and we design, manufacture, and sell height adjustable standing desks. Inactivity is now the UK's number one health problem and a serious global health problem. By using a standing desk just three hours a day uh, over your working year, for the average adult, will burn more calories than if you ran 10 marathons. So it's 10 marathons, and that's just three hours a day. It's about that we're healthy, active and more productive workforce. It should be schools, it should be corporates, it should be retirees, silver surfers, you know, everything. It's going, guys, don't sit on your arse all day. You know, it's, uh, it's about trying to, people trying to become everyday active aware, isn't it? I think he wowed me from day one. So he really lives the, the values of, of his brand. So at boot camp, um, he approached me and said, would it be okay to stand? Um, and of course, you know that's what his um, that's what his business is is um, you know looking after yourself and well being and, and and being healthy and fit. So so I said yes. So we set up in two thousand and fourteen February, uh, and we like anything you know you set out with great intentions. Uh, we were there live on the internet, uh, and it didn't prove to be the success that we'd maybe envisaged. So it did feel like we're at a, you know uh, we were storming, we're stagnant really. Joining Entrepreneurial Spark, having the new Iga product, uh, felt a little bit like a, like a rebirth of the business, but you know, a bit of a new start for us. He had the desks, and he was selling some, um, but you know, he, he had that drive that he wanted to sell more, um, and that's what um, brought into Entrepreneurial Spark. Lots of people want his products, so they appeal to lots of different types of customers. So you've got the workers, you've got the people who are at home, you've got the fitness fanatics, the people that are going to the gym. Um, lots of appeal for his product. So I guess the first thing that we worked on was focus. So who is his core customer and what channels does he want to use to get them? So since been in the hatchery, um, it's been approached by eBuyer and he's now fully signed up. It was quite a long process, um, but we got there. And then more recently, the Ryman's stationery group. Um, so he's on board with them as well, which is really, really good. In business terms, one of the real benefits that Entrepreneur Spark has given us is actually started to deal with major companies and big corporates. So um, now we are dealing with the Royal Bank of Scotland, which is fantastic. We're also looking now to actually try it with KPMG. Um, uh, in fact, in the next couple of weeks, we're off down to uh, Brentford where to uh, have a full day's uh, trial and demonstrations with EMC. Um, also, a side of the partners, we're actually dealing with uh, the Emirates, um, with Argos, uh, with Brother Group PLC. So there's lots and lots of things that have happened that if we were not in this environment, uh, would not have happened. So when we've got guests coming into the hatchery now, you know, he won't, he won't necessarily hang back and wait for me to introduce them. You know, he goes out there, he knows what he wants of them, and it, you know, he'll just cheekily you know, ask that question, you know, can I do a trial in, in your business or can I do a trial in your office? So we had a really good opportunity through KPMG and that a TEDx um, had approached them wanted to do a TEDx talk at their building in Manchester City Centre. They had a spare slot for us, so it was tight competition, and we whittled it down to three entrepreneurs and we selected Nick. Um, we selected Nick, he's got a great pitch, he's got great stage presence and we can trust him to deliver. So in our temp checks we had additional meetings um, but it was about writing the script um, that was educational for the audience but also kind of promoted his brand and why he did what he did. I want to start with a question. Who here in the room would like five extra years with the people that you love the most? and the things that you like doing the most. Show of hands. When I was asked, I, I'll be honest with you, um, I was um, proud, I suppose, yeah, delighted, um, uh, and that um, the enablers here at Manchester put their faith in me to deliver it on behalf of Entrepreneurial Spark. It was one of those terror barriers that, you know, you think, yeah, I, 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 it's a great opportunity. Yes, I'm nervous, but, you know, it's a one-off opportunity. And actually from that meeting in front of the audience of KPMG, even that has led to him making further sales within the business. So really, really proud moment for him. He, he lives and breathes the values of Entrepreneurial Spark and he is a go-doer. So, you know, he, he goes to speak to partners, he gets those meetings in, and, you know, he converts people from trials to sales. Um, he's an absolute go-doer. Well, an important thing about being an entrepreneur is that you've got to just always focus on succeeding. So, you know, there's no point thinking about the failure side of things. You know, every people get setbacks, but what I just call them a temporary defeat. You know, it's a learning curve. And there is a great thing about, you know, being here in, in the hatchery that we're not scared of failing. 
if you're not failing, you know, to be fair, you're not learning, you're not progressing. Um, so there's this element about, you know, should I be taking my eye off the ball and start thinking about anything else? No, I'm not, because, you know, every fibre in my body, we're going to make this work.